It's dark enough that edge right along here. Not too dark. Just kind of want to go by kind of quickly here, like so. And you know what? I'm gonna bring in some darkness into the side too, right? Just right along there. How's that? That looks so much better. And what I'm also going to do while we're here is darken up the lash line. Just the lashes. Just a little bit here. Just to make it really pop. And I'm going to do just a little bit on the bottom. Just pretty quickly. So now let's take a look at what we did before. I'm hitting the eye over here on your layers palette. What that does is remove the layer that's on top. So now we can see what, what was done before. This is before. That's after. Before and after. Just a little bit more darkness here. So let me zoom out. Let's take a look at before and after. And now let's take a look at everything that we've done. Before, after, before, after. Well, technically it's before and after. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to zoom back into the eye here. And now I'm actually going to go ahead and turn this image black and white before I add the contrast of the hair, the lace, and the lashes. Because we still need to add those beautiful lashes that I was speaking of. Okay. So. Let's go under the adjustments layer. It can be either found down here or up here if you have your adjustments palette up. If you don't, you can go up to window and uh, choose your hmm, adjustments right there. So let's go into black and white right here. Make sure your background copy three is selected. And bam, black and white amazingness. Now, the thing about black and white here, this particular palette, is that you can tweak the particular colors. What I mean by that is, let's say we move the yellow to 60 right now. Whoa, it's right every time attic. What that did is, all the pixels that were in the yellow tones have just been tweaked darker or much 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 lighter so let's put it back at 60 I don't actually like it just where it is right now I don't see any moving or why to move it so now what happens here is that this little white box comes up and you're thinking okay well what's up with this so, you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to get the same curves. Actually, no, you're not. Health matters to all of us. Apparently, health matters to all of us. With new mom programs. Let's see. Lysol healthy habits initiatives in schools. Yes, I had DeviantArt open because I needed to be able to link you guys back to the eyelashes brush that I used. So, it's I think I'm going to have to close out. it. So she uses new okay. There we go. Hopefully not another one will come up for a while. Hey, results, Jane Musters. I take that back. Are coming over for dinner. I my you know, I think so I'm just going to... Select this here and put it into there. And I'm closing that. Alright, back to this. And that's going to go away. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, so what we're going to do is mask out the eye so we can bring back the color of the eye. I'm going to zoom in into the eye right here. Now, like again, I said, you can make many different ways to make a selection. I'm going to do a really quick one by using my marquee tool, by clicking and dragging right over the eye. And actually, I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger than the eye, like so. And now what I'm going to do is hit Command, or Option, Delete. 
or I'm sorry, okay, what you're gonna do is hit Option or Alt, and you hit the Delete key, Delete. What that does is it deleted everything that was inside my selection. Great, but now we have some color up here in the eye. So let's hit our brush tool and make sure that white is on top this time. And we're just gonna paint away the color that has been brought back anywhere we don't really want the color to be. Maybe clean up the edges around the eye a little bit and the lashes, just like so. Great, this is looking awesome. All right, so we're almost close to being done here. Let's go ahead and add the lashes and finally, the last step will be adding a little more contrast onto the lace and to the hair. So again, we're gonna zoom into the eye. And what we're gonna do is on top of the background copy layer, once you have it selected, you make a new layer, okay? Now let's open up our brush palette. We can do that by hitting F5 or going up to view or window and selecting our brush palette. And what we wanna make sure is that we have our brush present open and then going in here and selecting our eyelashes. Other, if you don't already have it loaded, you can just load brushes and select wherever you have where you, wherever you have downloaded your your brush from. Just go ahead and grab it. So eyelash brushes. So eyelash brushes. Okay. Go back to the brush palette, and here we are. Now, I do have my favorite brushes, my, my favorite eyelash brushes, and that would be not those, that would be these. These make me happy. This person is awesome. Again, we're going to link it, I will have it linked and you can get it at the bottom. So I'm actually going to try to make that a little bit bigger, it's too big. Okay, that's about the size of the eye. Okay, and I'm just gonna click. All right, now it doesn't look too perfect. I wonder why, but we're gonna make it fit in better. The way to do that is we're gonna hit Command T, that is transform, and then we're gonna right click or control click if you're on a Mac, and hit the warp right here. Very cool tool. And now what this allows us to do is to move the lashes about anywhere we want them to be. So now what I'm going to do is make them fit into this eye nicely. Like so. Moving it just about. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. Making it fit this eye nicely. I like it there. So I'm going to hit enter. Now this black is a little too dark, so what I'm going to do is bring down the opacity on it. Like so. Uh, I'm actually going to move it up to 60 just to make it even. That looks a lot better. Dramatic, greatness. Now you could use, uh, now if you notice, there's also bottom lashes that we're going to use. You could use, put it on the same layer. But what happens if those lashes don't fit perfectly? Well, you're gonna have to warp it, and it's not gonna be pretty when you warp that top layer with the bottom one. So I'm gonna make a new layer, layer two. I'm gonna go back to my brush palette, and this time I'm gonna select these little lashes. Very, very cool, nice brushes. I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger, and I'm gonna click. Very, very awesome. Again, I'm also gonna bring down the opacity of this one. Bring it down to 60 as well. Uh, 62, maybe. 60. Zoom out a little bit. I love it. It looks nice. It looks clean. I love these lashes. This person is amazing. The wonderful deviant artist that I will link at the bottom. Okay. Almost, almost done. We're going to choose our background copy three. Drag it down and make a new layer. And now, I use this quite often, this lovely little trick. And that's by going up to Filter, Other, and High Pass. 
Now, when you're looking at it, you're thinking, okay, what in the world is this gray stuff? Really? How is that going to make my picture look great? Trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I'm going to leave the radius at 10 and hit OK. And then what I'm going to do is go right in here, in this little palette here, right here. Was this normal? And I'm actually going to choose overlay. Bam. I don't know if you could see the difference, but there is a lot of sharpness that was just brought in. I mean, crazy amount of sharpness. It makes the skin almost look goosebumpy. Now, don't be scared. We're going to make a, a mask out of this. So we're going to hit this tool, this little icon right here. And it makes a mask and it comes up with a little square on our layer. Okay. What we're going to do is hit... Option or Alt, delete, and now it just turned that little rectangle black. What that did is remo completely remove our selections. Well, there was no selections. Our, um, it had it technically it has hidden our layer, so it's not longer showing. So what we're gonna do is paint it back. Make sure you have your brush tool uh, palette open again. We're gonna choose a really fluffy 45 right there and make the spacing to one. Okay, make my brush a little bit bigger. And what I'm gonna do is just bring back that sharpness. And how do I do that? Make sure that white is on top. I'm gonna paint back some of that sharpness right into that hair. I'm gonna paint back the sharpness into this lace. Now I'm getting this little uh, lovely tool here. Um, Oh, my opacity is at 60. Hmm, I wonder why. Okay, bring it back to 100. And I'm just bringing back that sharpness right there, right on the lace so that you can see all the beautiful detailing. I'm getting this uh, death wheel of weight. Um, but I'm sure you guys don't get that because you're running awesome computers, right? 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 I hope so, anyways. Okay. So this is what the our selection is looking like here now. Very nice. I'm liking it. I'm actually going to bring a little sharpness back into the eye as well. I'm going to do that right like so. Just so it's crisp, grabs your attention. I might even do it onto the lashes a little bit here. Just like that. Oh, that looks pretty. There you go. Now you've just had a wonderful picture. Took away a little bit there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, don't do this part right here. I'm just doing it so that I can show you befores and after. So, before, after, before, after. I'm going to zoom in, get you a little bit closer to this. Before, after, before, after. There you go. You've learned some quick tips and awesome randomness. I hope this tutorial helps you guys out and I will come up with another tutorial really really soon and by really really soon I should probably be done today I hope. Um, thanks again for subscribing, for commenting, for the views, for the ratings, for all the awesome stuff, um, for the greatness that you guys are. Thank you, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. I hope that you guys keep looking at my videos, being awesome, and all that good stuff. Alright? Have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye now.